Hello and welcome to another Bakken tutorial. Today we're going to make moving platforms. We're also going to make them scale in the end. So you'll know how to scale events and make moving platforms by the end of this video. With that said, let's get started. All right, so here's the scene. We want a platform to move from this ledge and take the player over to this ledge. And so how we're going to do this is by first creating an event. We're going to click on the vent tab. We're going to just plop it anywhere. And we really just want to give it a motion right now. So we're going to double click into motion and I found this in the models, basic settings, outdoor stuff, container. I believe when I double clicked on it, it actually brought it out here to container 01. So I have to use this one. So if you have that, just create it or however it wants it. And then that's basically it as far as getting it on the map. So if we click okay, we can now see it on the map and we can move it with these uh, little Y, X, Z things. And we can make it level like this. And so now we can move the box from here to here. But before that, let's play test and see what happens. So we see that the box falls. So it has some gravity. So how we're going to get around that is by right clicking the box and unhighlighting the use gravity. And so now when we test play, it now stays there. And so we can continue with the movement logic. So we're going to right click. I found, I found the best way to select this sometimes is to right click and then uh, edit script event or edit event script. And then we're going to First change it to automatic start, repeat in parallel. And then we're gonna click the plus, go to events, go to make event walk. And I want it to walk in this direction. I want it to lock orientation. And then I want it to walk 9.5. Now the reason you lock orientation is because the box will actually rotate. And so you don't want the box to look like it's spinning. So I'm just gonna lock it and just make it go this way. And I already counted the ticks, so I know it's going to take 9.5 movements. And then abort if unable to move. That just makes sense. A fail safe. And then the next thing we're going to do is create a control weight specific time of, let's just say, three seconds. And now we can really just copy and right click this plus and paste. And we're just going to say the other direction. And then we're going to right click this, copy, right click the plus and paste. And so with just this alone, we should have a moving platform that we can actually get on as a player as well. So I'll just wait for it to come back, get on it. Now, if you played Orb Stories, this moving platform, you couldn't fall off of or anything. However, if you have that height thing unselected, you can fall right off. So in order to make it a little more fair, if you're making a platformer, we can uh, go to the next step, which is going to be scaling that box. So we've been using this movement adjuster this whole time, but there's also three more, two more options. There is angle adjustment, which you can, you know, spin the angle and all this other stuff. I'm going to reverse that. And then there's also the scale adjustment, which is where you can actually scale the box up and down. Now I'm going to scale it not this way. I'm not going to do it evenly. If you hold the middle, you do it evenly. I'm just going to scale it on individual axes. So I want it to be a little shorter and look more like a platform. Then I'm going to go to the position adjustment and you kind of got to be careful with this because you want to make sure that it's not clipping any kind of walls. And so you kind of want to be a little more careful. If I did the movement according to a scaled thing, it would be a little different. So I'm actually going to pull it out a little farther so that I don't uh, mess up the movement. And then we're going to play test and we can watch this in action. All right, so now let's jump on this big one when it comes back here. And we can jump off of it. Oh, missed that one. But yeah, you can see how you can make moving platforms. You can adjust their uh, scale and you can make them fit to have like a little platforming challenge. So hope this video was helpful. And with that, I will see you at the next video.